Thank you, Daniel 5, 2022, 20, That's right. Day one. The morning session. That we are grateful for this privilege. I'm asking that no one under the sound of my voice will listen in vain. I'm asking for impartation. I'm asking for revelation knowledge. I'm asking that understanding will be gained. Lord, thank you for doing much more than I can ask, much more than I have asked or I can imagine. That he is so good, therefore we know. Because you are the God of the overflow, that you will overflow to every one of us. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. This fast has been tough, or the focus the Lord gave us is wisdom. I I wish I could tell you 100% everything that um, he wants to do. But if you know his nature, you know his God, he only reveals as much as we want him to reveal. So we are in a 10 days of wisdom. We are in 10 days of wisdom fast. A fast where we want to know the wisdom of God for the second half of the year. He said something that really blessed me. And when he said it, you know, when I don't know how you hear him, but there's a way, especially when the Holy Spirit speaks, he speaks sometimes like this, he's he's throwing a joke. I was like, "Mm -mm." he said, go and check. And I had to check. What did he say? He said, Wisdom is living on earth in joy. I was like, what? He said, there is nothing wise about your life if you're sad. What? He said, wisdom goes with joy. Wisdom goes with gladness. He said, you cannot see a truly wise person who is sad. Oh my goodness. Ah, yeah, yeah. The report card is a hot one, right? The good thing is that we have scriptures to back this up. Isaiah chapter three, um, chapter twelve, verse three says that it is with joy that we draw water from the wells of salvation. It is what with joy that we draw from the wells of salvation. I hope you know. One of the things Jesus died so we can have is wisdom. So how do you get wisdom? (laughs) Joy. I said gratitude is not an option. From this first day of the fast, if there's one thing we want to do and do some more, is show him our gratitude for the first half of the year. Tell him how grateful we are that we're making it into the second half of the year. (laughs) What, therefore, is wisdom? Wisdom, simply put, is doing the word of God in all areas of our lives. Somebody's like, no, wisdom is knowing the word of God. Wisdom is the word of God. I hear you. The Bible says it clearly that what wisdom is the fear of the Lord and departure from evil, or the honor of the Lord, and refusing to do what his word says not to do. Wisdom is doing the word of God in all areas of our lives. But how can you do the word you do not know? When you say you fear the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. It begins with the fear and then it proceeds towards departing from evil. It's all of our progress, right? What does that look like? It means you stop living your life by how you feel, by what you want. Go into your Bible, find out what he says to do, and then do it. There is wisdom in this Bible for all areas of our lives. All different areas. 
are covered. There is a pattern in the Bible for how to be a wife, how to serve the Lord at church. There is a pattern in the Bible on how to be a great citizen in your country. There is a pattern in the Bible on how to be an amazing husband, a great employer or employee. And I have no idea why Boaz came to my mind, but Boaz was a great employer. There is a pattern. Wisdom is getting into the Bible and pulling out this pattern to all areas of our lives. And I do what? Teach everybody else? No, leave it. Leave it. It is an honorable thing. It's so humbling to drop your brain and do the word. Daddy knows the months ahead of us. He knows exactly what this next six months holds for everyone. He knows our prophetic direction. Yes, we have heard that is a year that he wants to translate us into kingdom reality. Are you going to be humble enough to study the word and find out what kingdom realities are, number one, and number two, to align yourself with the needed attitudes, actions, so you can enjoy them? Daniel, our man of focus this morning, was a captive. What is your excuse for not living a life of wisdom? What are the excuses? He was a captive. He had all the right to be afraid and close his mouth. But because he feared the Lord so much, he honored Daddy so much. What did Daniel do? He departed from evil. He did not just fear. He made sure his action lined up. And what was the action that he did? He refused to participate in that which was considered evil. Eating the king's meat was considered to be evil. Well, there's so much I would have loved us to read, but I will take us straight to Daniel chapter 1, verse Eight, starting with this eight, the contemporary version, I'm at home. It says, Daniel made up his mind to eat and only drink what God has approved for his people to eat. Now, we said there's so many areas of wisdom in this Bible. And Daniel, in this situation, decided to stay with God's wisdom as far as eating is concerned. He refused to eat the world's way. He decided to eat the word way. Every time you want to leave the wisdom of the world, you're going to come in contact or in you will be um, confronted with unnecessary earthly challenges. And that's okay. That's part of the package. One of my wonderful women of God says that um, the obstacle is there to see if you actually wanted it anyway. A lot of people don't like obstacles, but I can I can give you a prophetic word without closing my eyes. You know what I mean? Like it's not something you should even be thinking if it's true or not. In this world, you have tribulation. But what did Jesus say? Fall down and die? No. It's a be of good cheer. Meaning that in the trouble you begin to rejoice. I said, well, what, what kind of wisdom is that? He said, that's right. That's my wisdom. Because the joy would turn it around. Joy is a big deal. But joy is only given to those who are wise. Joy is only given because you've chosen to do that which the word says to do. Daniel decided that he's not going to eat this food. And then he asked, 
that he be exempted. Verse 11, the king's official had put a guard in charge of Daniel and his three friends. So Daniel said to the guard, I hope you see here clearly that Daniel first of all spoke to the captain, right? And the captain was speaking drama. And then you're like, okay, fine. He went to the next person um, below that one and spoke to him. But twelve for the next ten days, which is what we're doing. Let us only have vegetables and water at meal time. Vegetables and water at meal time. My goodness, did you hear that? For the next ten days, let us only have vegetable and water for ten days. You see, when the 10 days are up, compare how we look. You know, see where we got our declarations from? With the other young men and decide what to do with us. The God agreed to do what Daniel had asked. Now, what are you seeing here? Favor, protocol, right? Broken for his sake. Verse 15, 10 days later, Daniel and his friends looked healthier and better than the young men who had been served food from the royal palace. After this, the God, that the God let them eat vegetables instead of the rich food and wine. Hello. They lived a life, a fasted life. What is a fasted life? It's the life of the wise. You must know what to eat abstain from in this case daniel was abstaining from food that would not make him wise you know a lot of people will say sarah i made my children 10 times better than their peers i agree and then you feed them what mm. you're the same person you're telling everybody i'm wiser i'm 10 times wiser than everybody we agree but what are you eating in this case daniel refused to eat the king's food why are you eating anger, unforgiveness? How will you be wise? You can't. The only thing that will give us wisdom is doing what the Word of God says to do in that area. If you go to work and you have a bad attitude, you have a dirty uniform, you always go late. Come on, don't lie. That it is a devil. If it's the devil, maybe he's making sure you're dirty. You have a business, you, you are, you're shabby, your shop is shabby, um, your environment is dirty, everybody that comes around don't want to stay because the place stinks. No, it's not the devil. If it's the devil, then it's helping you to be stinky and you have to clean that. Because when you clean it, you get better customers. Great, 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 great wisdom in the world as to how to live life on earth. And that's what we're going to be digging into the entire 10 days. Now, 17. You can't talk about wisdom without the father. He's the father of wisdom. Wisdom originates from him. He rewards everyone that diligently seeks him for the wisdom for the season. I, that's how I know that this fast will end in praise. Because we are not here to, to, to entertain ourselves. You saw even the prayer time. It was not an entertainment time. It was not who reads better than who. We allow you to pray. If you didn't pray, you were on your own because we are always praying and say, Lord, how can we help your people better? And that's why we change the format. Look at verse 17 with me, please. God made, God made, our daddy made, 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 woohoo, the four young men, smart and wise. They read a lot of books and became well educated. Daniel could also tell the meaning of dream. Okay, we'll end right there. But the focus here is who God made them. A lot of people want daddy to make them, but they don't want to sit down and look at what will make him to make me. You want to be a wise person. As far as your services to your country is concerned, your service to your family is concerned, ask the Lord. It says the house is built by understanding. The chambers are filled with understanding. 
He said, get wisdom. In all you're getting, get understanding. Has it not bothered you that what is this understanding? What is this wisdom? I came to make it simple for us. Simplify it. It is the word of God. Wisdom is the word of God. For that particular area of your life. Meaning, what did the word of God say to do in that area? The wisdom for marriage, it might be different from the wisdom to raise your children. It's different from the wisdom to be a great supervisor. It's it's different. It's different. But then you have to know it. The good thing is, in a fast like this, life will break forth. Amen. I want us to begin to thank the Lord for this word. I say, Lord, I receive strength to study. Lord, I receive strength to depart from evil. Evil in the Bible is doing love your own way. I hope you know that. Evil. Every time you do what the Lord says not to do, you're living an evil life. When you do what the Word says to do, you are a righteous person living a righteous life. There are many people that are the righteousness of God in Christ, but they don't live righteous. It's like an oxymoron. It contradicts everything. Father, we receive strength to do our part. We receive the grace to study and the grace to do that which we will learn during these 10 days. We ask that it will become part of our lives and help us to do it and do it well. But it help us to teach others through our actions and our words. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Lord, baptize me afresh with the spirit of joy. Remember, it is the joy that we draw from the wells of salvation. If you read another scripture that I was going to teach on, but our time is out, you can now study it on your own. Psalm 16, verse 11. Amazing scripture. Amazing. From verse 1, it's loaded from verse 1 to 11. But then verse 11 says, you will show me the way of life. (laughs) You didn't hear that. The way of life. That's wisdom. Granting me joy of your presence and pleasures of living with you forever. That was the New Living Translation. The New International Version says, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. I have the Lord. I said, what? what? This, this is verses don't join. They don't have, <laughs> have you read verses? And they don't, this verse or this sentence and this other one, they don't, they don't are up. What is their connection? If they don't know they are connected. When you read it from the king, you will see it better because it's a semicolon. It said, Thou will show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. In thy presence, what is fullness of joy? That's the part of life. Staying with daddy. Staying in the word of God. Until you see scriptures and joy just comes up like a river. Like a spring. Spring up inside. You say, at the right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. I want us to pray and say, Lord, baptize us afresh with the spirit of joy so we can be humble enough to study and receive the wisdom for the season. I know you heard that. I will repeat it. Lord, baptize me afresh with the spirit of joy so I can be humble enough to study and receive the direction for this new season. Pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are asking for a fresh baptism, a fresh release of the spirit of joy upon us, upon the Bill family. My Father, we ask for a fresh release of the spirit of joy, so we can be humble enough to study. We can be humble enough to receive direction for this second half of the year. We thank you for fresh joy, joy like never before, in the name of Jesus. The last prayer, Lord, we ask for fresh grace to study. Fresh grace to study. To study in the name of Jesus. Pray grace to study and to pray so we can hear your voice and do our part in the name of Jesus. Grace to study and to pray so we can hear your voice and do our part 
in the name of Jesus. Do our part so we can be translated into kingdom reality this second half of the year. Father, fresh grace to study and to pray so we can hear your voice, do our part, and be translated into kingdom reality this second half of the year. Father, we ask for the fresh grace to study, fresh grace to pray, and hear your voice and do your will so we can be translated into kingdom reality this second half of the year. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.